come on to number mm -hmm. two. What comes to your mind? So, yeah, second thing. Yeah. So, second thing is uh, people might think that Germany is like really technologically advanced. It's ahead of everybody. It's the best in Europe. Yeah, yeah. But it is so false. And, and I <laughs> okay. couldn't believe that. Oh, okay, but we have uh, this notion that Germany is very good with machines because they have BMW, Audi and they have given so many beautiful cars yeah, they, to the they, world. Yeah, they're good with machines, but like when you want the simplest uh, message, let's say from the uh, post, yeah. it takes like three weeks for them to mail you a letter. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it's absolutely not, not good. So in Germany, okay. uh, actually everything is still done through paper and mail and the processes generally take a lot longer than ah. in Latvia. Okay. So actually it's still very technologically far behind. Yeah. And uh, another thing about Germany is that there's a whole bunch of bureaucracy over here. Ah. And that ties into what I just previously said about things taking on very long. There's okay. a very long bureaucratic process to approve of something, to get something done. And things generally take a very slow amount of time. And another point about Germany being less technologically advanced than Latvia mm -hmm. is that all of their internet rates and anything associated with like technology fees, the fees that you have to pay for your uh, mobile data and stuff, they're way higher than, what, than in Latvia. And oh, usually okay. the network providers are have less coverage and they're even worse than in Latvia. So okay. Latvia is actually way more technologically advanced okay. in daily life for a normal person than Germany. No matter how weird that sounds. Mm, yeah. And this actually also is uh, quite common with all the countries which are, you know, economically very strong. Uh, once a country become economically very strong, they have they started putting procedures which takes very long time to get it approved mm -hmm. so for example in india because the economy is not that strong to start something is easy i think that is the same with latvia because the economy is not that strong you have to get approvals from two three places and then mm -hmm. you can start up with something but because as the country starts growing and it takes a lot of time because you have to get approvals from certain different different agencies to start something that might be the same with all the developed countries apart from 